hello hello welcome to this week's vlog you guys and happy new year happy 2024 i hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season you spent it with the people you love the people you like somewhere you wanted to be somewhere you didn't want to be either way i'm glad that we are all here that we made it to a new year this week's vlog this week's vibe is definitely a january reset and it's going to be a quick one because we are going to go be right we're going to go we are going to be out of town again in a few days we were just in gainesville with family celebrating the new year and now we're gonna go to disney in a few days so before we go to disney i want to get all of the holiday decor down and out and put up away you guys know how i feel about my holiday fatigue so i thought this is the perfect time to just grind grind it out get it done put it away clean the house and start the new year fresh so when we come back from our first vacation of the year the house feels amazing we need to start by stocking the fridge for a few days before we go on vacation and it's not in a few days it's like in a week but i feel like you blink and the week is over and after the holiday seasons lovely eating marathon i thought that we would get some healthier options maybe low carb maybe low calories but still healthy and filling so we're gonna see what the grocery store has to offer we have to do a little shopping just to get ready for our disney trip and then just getting the house back together so let's start the day off with some shopping and then maybe we're gonna start taking down the outdoors i don't know i feel like is it the right day for that i already took a shower i'm gonna get dirty the ladder's so heavy but we need to we need to put the pedal to the metal guys we need to do our best we need to get it done and we just need to go with the ocean i was gonna say we need to go with the flow of the ocean let's start Time you see this i'm not sure if it will be even worth going but target marked a lot of things down to 90 percent i saw a few things online like tiktok if you are a like aggressive shopper a professional shopper you know the after holiday sales but i just got something that was 25 dollars for two dollars and 50 cents it's a decor piece i will show you when i get home We are back, you guys. I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. We went to Target, Home Depot, the pet store, and Whole Foods, but I think I just wanna show you guys a quick Whole Foods haul, just to see what the next four dinners are. We're trying to do this like semi-healthy, but not healthy, not too heavy dinner theme this week, so I wanna show you guys what I got. Okay, for tonight's dinner, we are gonna have skirt steak tacos so i got flour tortillas cilantro some pre-made guac and salsa black beans some whole corn so i do like a chipotle like mayo corn for the tacos i got limes some onions and i'm also going to do this southwestern veggie soup with this red pepper and tomato sauce. Well, it's not a sauce, it's a soup, it's a base. So normally I would get tortilla chips and or rice to go with this. And I would have gotten like a flour tortilla alternative, like almond flour tortillas or chickpea. Well, honestly, you guys, they were more calories than this. And not that I'm counting calories, I'm just trying to reduce the intake this week overall. Other night, we are gonna have a pistachio apple and beet salad with brown rice pasta so this is just another alternative to regular pasta with a tomato basil sauce and then balsamic for the salad here we have some chicken breast for a kung pao chicken that i'm going to make and blistered green beans with the soy sauce and here is just another alternative brown rice instead of white rice. I know people are gonna be like, it's the same, whatever. If I feel better, then that's what is gonna work for us. And then I'm also gonna make some like Asian inspired carrots as well, but we're gonna use these carrots for two things. The following thing is gonna be a chicken soup. So we'll do some carrots and spinach 
peas, a little bit of corn. I've got dill, some lemon, and two kinds of broth. This is my favorite broth, chicken with lemon and, no, lemon balm and sage, and then a rotisserie chicken so I don't have to make any breasts or anything like that. So this is dinner for the week. It's at least four dinners. I feel like nothing is too crazy. Nothing's gonna be too hard because I have a super busy week. So this is dinner. And then some other essential things that I got. Chad's energy drinks, two containers of fruit. I know you're gonna say more, more cool fruits full of sugar or whatever. It's better than cookies and cake, no? Uh, some bedtime sleepy tea. I'm gonna try and do like granola in the morning with this like coconut. Coco June Organic Cultured Coconut. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a yogurt. I got more sugar. This is for everything, this gochujang, everything sauce, very good. And then creamer for my matcha. So hopefully this will just be enough to get us through a few days, just morning stuff. And then I got flowers, you guys. It's finally flower time in the winter. It was all about Christmas decor, but I'm gonna do some flowers. And then do you guys wanna see my Target haul really quick? Sure, let's do it. Okay, let's wrap up our grocery haul from Target. I got paper towel, sweet tea, some poppy, some LaCroix. This is what I was telling you guys. It is from Studio McGee. This is originally $25. Can you see it? $25 and I got it for $2.50. And I know it's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but honestly, you guys, doesn't it go with the house? I feel like I may use it year round and then I could just hang out for Christmas for next year. I got parchment paper, aluminum foil, more parchment paper. I got more moisturizer. These little like hand towelettes like to travel. I also got tied to go and these guys were also on sale. They're like just like a plain old loofah. 30 cents, you guys, 30 cents. I feel like this would be good if you are trying to replenish your guest area. You can just buy a bunch of these and leave them in your guest bath. Super good, highly recommend. And then I passed by Home Depot just to get this mold, mold armor rapid clean. This is gonna be for the driveway, which you could just use Clorox, but I don't buy Clorox ever, so this is good. And then I got this power mop for the floors. And lastly, I passed by the puppy store getting these chew treats for the dogs, bacon flavor. I'm gonna watch them eat these because I'm scared that they're gonna fall apart. They're supposed to be from Nyla Bone, so they make chew treats as well, but those don't fall apart. But we'll see. Watch your pets with the new treats, guys, and just some meal toppers for the dogs. That's it, you guys. I think a successful shopping day, but not too much, only essentials. Hi you guys, it is taking a lot for me to do this, but we are going to take down the outdoor Christmas decor. I feel like it's gonna be kind of easy because a lot of them are broken anyway, so they've gotten broken over the past few months that they've been out, rain, water, wind. So I'm gonna throw a few of them away and try and salvage whatever I can. Even our like presents, like light up presents, like those cubes are broken too. Frosty's looking bad, so I'm gonna make some executive decision on what we keep what we don't keep even we have a few ornaments out there the sun has completely bleached which i'm thinking maybe next year i could just spray paint them i'm thinking about that for the pumpkins for halloween everything needs to just like a re-shine instead of buying things and i'm rambling so much waste but let's just start because honestly i am just like so dead and i don't have the energy but let's get it done
It is a new day. Guess what happened to me yesterday after taking down all of the outdoor Christmas lights? I'm coming off the ladder, like I'm getting down, and on our side yard, the ground is very uneven. I don't know why it's just like that. Like, I remember Chad and I had the septic tank like emptied once, and then we re put soil in the sod, but the like, still areas around it are like clumpy, lumpy. So I'm coming off and what's happening? Do you guys get telemarketing calls that like crazy? So I'm coming off the ladder. I step wrong, twist my ankle. It's twisted, it's broken. My ankle is not like fully sprained, but it's a little swollen. And at the moment I dramatically fell back and was like, oh my God, there goes my whole foot. We're going on vacation in a few days to go walk four theme parks. I can't afford to lose my foot right now. I called Chad, I was like, help, help me, I have fallen, help, 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 I have fallen and I can't get up, beep beep, life alert. He came outside to my rescue and immediately after I saw him, I was better. No, no joke. I was like, no, I think I'm gonna be okay. But at that moment, I was like, oh my God, I broke my foot. Like, I've never broken anything like that before. So I was like, no, this can't be the day that it happened. I'm too old for that. I'm too old to break something. No, I, mm, not it, I'm not the one. So I've just kind of been a little off it yesterday. It's swollen for sure, like a little more. Like, you really can't tell, but then if you're looking at it, you're like, oh, the swollen. So I'm taking anti, anti-swollens? No, anti-inflammatories. Uh, just so it can go down, but that does mean I do want to move a little slower today. Uh, let's take down indoor Christmas. Let's just remove everything, put it in a corner, and then we'll just put it away. And then we'll move on. And then, guys, we are resetting the house. We're doing it just at a slower pace. from the future and the editing desk. I realized that I never filmed a transition, like, hey guys, I finished putting Christmas away, I cleaned, I vacuumed, I did all this stuff, and then I kind of redecorated the house. Nothing crazy because I feel like the house felt super empty when I finished. So I kind of just like sprinkled things back in that I think they were in their place. Honestly, I feel like I want to start again, but we'll take time. Let's curate a home. Let's buy things we love, not just because let's fill the space. But I thought I would take you guys along my thought process of how I put everything together instead of giving you a little montage. It'll be a little montage and a little chit chat with me. 
Okay, we're gonna freestyle. This is the dining room, dining table. I just put some candles on the dining table, nothing crazy, really, really simple, you guys. And then I started to decorate the bar car, just some like double glass. And that new pyramid is there, super cute. Everybody needs an Alexa because that's how we control the house, obviously. This is another shot of the dining table and that DIY console that I never showed you guys that we found at the thrift store and then painted and why it was like 17 bucks Okay, this is the living room and if you guys can already tell that is not the regular couch I'm on This is our old couch that we put in our seating area Here's our new seating area with what looks like a ring light which it is but it's a lamp for today Here I am on the stairs you guys probably can't tell in that mirror, but I'm trying to give you guys an overall There I am so cute. Look at me. I was in my chambers. I'm always in my my jammers. This is the TV console and the candles and fresh flowers because we're done with Christmas. These are DIY prints that I found online on Pinterest. Super cute. Here is another shot of their new couch that we got from Crate and Barrel. I think it's called a lounge or a lounge too. We have some covers on it because the cats are always on it. And we're totally not about it getting dirty, but it's a lot cuter than it looks. But I think the brown covers work for now. That's the back of it with our bench there. It's kind of like a little drink holder for when we're sitting. This is the kitchen. The kitchen is clean. It was sleek. I dusted it off, wiped everything down. Very simple, you guys. Nothing too crazy. I, didn't, I just wanted to feel refreshed. The Christmas little tree is gone. The diffuser, I moved it back. It's just the KitchenAid, the pasta book that we've never made. Oh, that's a new cutting board. It says Langford's. Uh, that's another shot of the kitchen. I don't know why I put so many shots of the kitchen, you guys. Obviously, I love the kitchen. Our new uh, hand towels. Am I gonna zoom in in a second? Cook You Must. Um, my sister-in-law, Chad's sister, got us that. Cook You Must, and I do every day. Oh, guys, I'm gonna zoom in in a second. I made that art on the ride. Literally, just the printer, and I had some like cardboard. So the frame could be not gold like the Christmas one. Super cute, guys, art for free. Uh, okay, that's it. What do you guys think about the house? Honestly, I didn't wanna put too many things back together. I wanna create a new space, a new vibe for 2024. Thank you so much, guys, for my first video viewership. I will see you guys in the next one, which is at Disney. So like, subscribe, and stick around.